At this time, I'd like to welcome you. This is the story of the raven and the sun. Oh, grass! That's all the story. Grass! Our journey begins with Princess Klahauya, a young girl who lives here in the village of Klahauya. Every morning, the princess sets out and picks berries for her village. She loves wandering yeah. through the forest. There are so many wonderful things to see and smell and hear. She loves the fresh scent of cedar trees and the sounds of nature, like the trickle of water from the stream and the songs the birds sing at dawn. And most of all, she loves visiting with her animal friends. Today seems like any other day to the princess, and she starts her morning like any other morning, grabbing her big cedar bark basket and skipping off into the woods. Princess Hello, little bear. Do you have a tummy ache from eating too many berries? It's much worse than that. A voice spoke to me in the wind and said the evil tree class is still the sun, and now it will be dark forever. Those two? I heard the voice too, little bear. It told me you must find Raven. Of course. Raven will know what to do. The princess and little bear are growing very worried now. Where is Raven? How will they find him? They hurry off to search for him and try to stop the evil chief. They are passing Frog's Pond when they see it. Can you guess? That's right. They see Frog sleeping near the pond. Maybe he can help them. Look, little bear. There's Frog lying in the sun. Frog! Welcome to my humble home. Why past my pond do you two roam? Frog, my friend. We have some terrible news, but you will teach Sandra stealing the fun. It's not only terrible, it's unbearable. We must stop him. You must stop him. Wow, that's a story of the past. We must find him. We must find him fast. Frog quickly joins the hunt. He suggests Eagle can help them. Suddenly, there is a noise above. The princess, Little Bear, and Frog all look way up until their necks cannot bend back any farther. But there is nothing there. They hear the noise again and see a great shadow in the clearing. Stretches her enormous wings and gracefully floats down to meet her friends. Meanwhile, Frog is still in shock. He shakes his head in disbelief and mumbles to himself. No sun, no sun. How shall we cope? The clever raven is our only hope. The group gathers close together so that Eagle can explain why Raven is the only one who can help. A long time ago, Raven helped bring us the sun. It was hidden away in a box that only he could open. It is now time for Raven to find that same box before the evil chief has a chance to trap the sun inside it again. If we fail, the light will be lost to us forever. A dark cloud appears, and there is a stirring in the air, like a groaning from the trees. Why, it's the evil chief himself. I will steal the sun, and you will never have daylight again. <laughs> the sun inside it again. If we fail, the light will be lost to us forever. A dark cloud appears, and there is a stirring in the air, like a groaning from the trees. Why, it's the evil chief himself. I will steal the sun, and you will never have daylight again. <laughs> oh no! Oh. We fall into darkness now. This is a glimpse of what will come if the princess and her friends don't find Raven in time. As the prophecy ends and we return to light. Princess and her friends get food from the salmon. I'm the rain. 
The princess and her friends hurry oh, on to Hemlock Haven, and sure enough, Raven is there. The princess spots him first. Raven, we're so glad to find you here. We need your help. Princess, what is it that troubles you? I'm just too upset. Frog, will you explain? Raven, my good man, we must conjure a plan. The evil chief has made a big case. He believes it to be the perfect hiding place. Within this box, he will hide our son. But how will we know which box is the one? You are the answer to keeping the daylight free. Your clever tricks hold the only key. The evil chief has not forgot the ways of the raven. And he too is a trickster. He will make many boxes and try to fool us. We're going to have to work together. You'll have to help me find all the boxes so that we can figure out which one is the right one. Then I will steal the lid so the sun will still be able to shine. The group starts their search by running off in all directions. We must hurry. Where should we look? Where should all these hidden boxes be? Can you help them search? We are running out of time. Call out if you see a box. Eagle soars up and calls to her friend. Eagle has discovered the first one. Look there. I see one very large box. Good work, Eagle. But it's not the one. Keep looking, my friends. Let's go. I'll look over there. I'll look over here. You can do it. I'll look over there. Where's the box? You look over there. I'll look here. Where is it? The princess finds another. Is it this one? Oh no. It appears to be Where is the box? Where is the box? Where is the box? I look here. Where is the box? You look there. Where is the box? Where is it? Where is the box? You can do it! Frog jumps into the air and says, I see one. Look here. Look here. Oh no. This one's too flat, I fear. Alas, I see yet another box. But it's full of salmon box. In the distance, they hear the voice of Little Bear. Can you see me? Could this be it? Oh no. This box is too small to hide the sun. How will we ever find the right one? There are boxes everywhere. The group is becoming frantic. They are working very hard to find the right box. But there are just too many. They are looking all over, but without any sense or purpose. Raven grows very concerned. He knows what he must do. Raven speaks to his friend in a big, loud voice. Everyone, please stop and listen. We need to cover more ground. Eagle, you will fly above, way up high in the sky, for a bird's eye view. I will fly low between the trees. So when you see the lid, I am close at hand. Princess, frog, and little bear, you spread out and search the forest. This is an excellent plan. We'll work to our strength and follow your lead. A wonderful plan is in awesome. The group splits up to find the bent wood box. Raven flies fast, swerving between the trees. Eagle gives a powerful thrust of her wings and soars up high into the sky above. Little Bear starts searching the forest to the right. Princess searches the forest to the left. And Frog hops quickly in every direction, searching the ponds, the streams, and the puppets. They know
know all the creatures of the forest, and the whole village of Klahalia is counting on them to save the sun. Which box is it? Which box is it? Oh no, which box is it? Eagle searches from a pine, she might find it from the sky. Frogs hop to and fro, princess looks from a below. Little bear is healthy out, if he finds it he will shout. Time is slipping on the clock, tick-tock, tick-tick-tick-tick-tock. A piece of bread to the feet. Can you see what Raven sees? What has caught Raven's eye? The bedwood box of the chief dear high. Raven swoops, swoops and through. He grabs a lid, chief's plans are through. Raven's job is now done. The chief will not hide our son. Hey, oh, hey, yo. Everyone knew that Raven had saved the sun. They all gathered in Kahalia village to celebrate and honor the group's brave feet. Princess and Eagle arrived first, and they were greeted with hugs and kisses. Little Bear and Frog showed up next and there was a cheer from the whole village. Finally, Raven arrived, and everyone cheered so loudly it shook the treetops. The friends spent many days celebrating by dancing and singing and enjoying the sun. Thank you for joining us on this journey to Pahalia Village. We hope you enjoyed the ride.